Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this video, we're looking at the OmniKey 5427 desktop reader. In a previous video, I've shown how to set uh, a reader up, how to change it from um, a desktop reader to a keyboard wedge. Um, keyboard wedge basically means it, it works in an ASCII style, so information is sent through as if you send it through as a, typing it into an typing in numbers on the keyboard. So it's compatible with access control systems, third-party software. What, what we've had recently is a couple of cases where um, people have been using Desfire EV2 cards or EV1 cards, and the reader isn't recognizing the token. Um, so when they're pre presenting it to the, to the reader, nothing's happening or numbers aren't coming through. So what we need to do is f change the format of the reader and enable um, Desfire EV1, EV2, EV3 and so on, or whatever formats have been used, we need to enable them um, to work. So you've already seen how to install the CCID software. In this video, we're going to install the EEM. So we go to hidglobal.com and support, technical support, uh, drivers and downloads. And select a product. Let's find it. The five four two seven. There it is. Five four two seven CK. Scroll down a bit, and you can see there's the CCID in the workbench which we've used before. And what we're going to use now is the EEM software. So we can download that to our machine. Make sure it's one of these Windows seven to ten compatible. Download that, and that will download to your directory. Uh, you can go to your directory and install it in the usual fashion. There's nothing special, you don't need keys or anything like that. Install it and you are ready to go. Then from that point you can browse into the reader and do some configuration. Its default address is 192.168.6399. So if you open the br make sure your reader's plugged into the USB port, it's powered up, the lights are on. Um, type in that address 192.168.6399 and it brings you to the start page here and really there's quite a few tags um, you can go through and change things um, it's IP address wherever it is. Oh, there it is it's IP address it's gateway and so on you can change add or change a password if you like but really what we want to do is click on keyboard wedge um, card reader selection, which is there, card reader selection, and the card type. And we're looking for EV2. Now you can see here that EV2 isn't enabled, so let's enable EV2. Let's enable um, CSN, card serial number, and we'll also enable um, physical access control. Um, just, just, just all options enabled. And there we are. That's how you would enable um, a certain format on the OmniKey 5427 desktop keyboard re reader. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.